Welcome back to the fall part two. My, my, my rule! The virus is terminating me. Joseph's will extract it from these hosts to bind all synthetic life. I must redeem myself. One. The many are adapting, copying my prowess. We must stop this train before it reaches their hub. Well, not quite yet. Not quite yet. Instead, we're actually going to be going into the butler. Why not just start from the beginning here? So we have our three hosts that we're working together with. And we've done a little bit of each one, it looks like. Now, why don't we just go ahead and just repeat the process here and go back to the butler. I need no one. Indeed. Is it that time already? Off to come check on your masters. Still no emotions? Good fellow. Yes, yeah, so the butler has absolutely lost his mind, as you know. Now, the text does actually appear a little bit smaller because, for whatever reason, last I noticed, my. I guess it's not going to show here, but in my settings, it was like reverting to like a much a lower resolution instead of instead of 1440 so uh, yeah i don't really know why that was but it should be really really good now i guess i would imagine should look good so the butler is this our home so he has a new emotion he can use now he can use the ones emotion interesting Painting of the master before his decay, we suppose it resembles him. I can't really do much of anything. Dining furniture serves a purpose for humans, but not for us. An adequately clean window. The user manual, unnecessary reading for us. Our mistress is brimming with emotion. Sure she is. She's dead. Our master is extremely invested in his passions. Yeah, he is also dead. Good fellow. Yeah, we don't have any emotions yet, and we can't do anything as her, right? Because look, it's just he doesn't understand the the companion. My comprehension of this perspective is insufficient to use it here. Yeah, so Arid does not understand the companion enough to actually use that. Okay, before her decay. She decays over time. As you know. We suppose the mistress cared about aesthetic balance. This does not matter. Let us ignore it, please. Icons of a human genealogical unit. Don't look at them! Hmm, that seems like something important. What does he say when he's regular? A box. The butler is disinterested. Photographs. See, he's very he's being very simple with his explanations now as to what everything is. An artificial plant. Interesting. So because I guess he has developed a little bit here, you know, with his emotions not but we're not having any. In antique, we make no correlation between age and quality. The master had a sense of humor. We do not. A picture intended to inspire. It may have worked on the master, but not on us. Computer equipment, not our concern. Okay. Wait. Anything else we can do with with the computer? I know he like goes inside. Wait, wait, wait. If he goes inside of it, can we do something with the box now?
Yes. Photos of the butler's family. Oh. I see. Still incoherent. Oh no. So it looks like we have gotten some photos of his family. What is the but butler's family? Interesting. <clears throat> well, before we do anything with that, why don't we explore the rest of the house first? There could be some other things here that we're able to get now with our new emotions. What others consider art we do not consider? We have no opinion about this door. <laughs> Another antique. The mistress was a collector. We simply caretake. We, uh, the master thought highly of the craftsmanship. We are indifferent. An antique. It is functional. A certificate of recognition. We are impartial to recognition. A door to a lavatory. We do not use a toilet. No, we don't. We use our own pants. Yes, we do. Who needs a toilet when you have your pants? Come on now. We arrange these to the mistress specifications. Okay. We are not so fastidious as the mistress was. A painting of something significant to someone... Nothing is significant to us. All right, now what about just the, the butler in general? A painting. A window. He's very, very... Is just images. Just He used to be very descriptive. An image. And images. Yeah, he used to be just very descriptive as to what these things were. Now he's... You know, it's very simplistic. Okay. Anything else over over here? Oh, what's this? Master will retreat to the attic to ponder. We only entered for the duties. Oh. A door to somewhere irrelevant to us. Oh, yeah, that this is new. Not this room. You disown your emotions. So there's something with this room. I guess they, they, they maybe had a baby. And obviously the, a butler has bad memories of this. And the family does. Look at the hearts. The hearts slowly going up the wall. Very interesting. Okay, let's see what the butler says about some of this stuff first. A dresser. Very simplistic. A crib. A mobile. Interfaceable. Okay, so he can actually go into that, it looks like. Okay. Picture frames. Oh, wait, we have pictures. Butler would not allow it. Oh. Butler. But yeah, he used to please, you know, he used to have like a baby here and he used to be like the butler to the baby. But obviously something happened to this baby. The pictures are a butt butler. This, uh, you, let's say we can see the family. Oh my gosh, yes, it was. You can see it's very, very faint. But in this first photo, right up, right up, right above me here, you see the husband and the wife, and you see the baby that they're holding, the kid. So, so they did have a kid. They did indeed have a have a kid. An empty display case. Pictures of a human genealogical unit. Mm. My family. Anything, Butler? Nothing? He knows that this is his family. Guess he just needs some uh, some more to, to make him remember. We're up in the attic now. What do we have up here? A table and chair. 
A box of prosthetics for a Domesticon butler. Interfaceable. Okay, so maybe we can do something with that when he's in there. So let me actually... I cannot do that while this body's conscious is absent. There we go. Let's actually just... Yeah, just, let's just bring him back. Oh, hang on, there's something else here. A textile bear. The butler is disinterested. Oh, we gotta pick up that bear, don't we? Let's see. I can barely see the bear. I see him. He looks cute. He's a cute little bear. Guess we gotta pick that up when the butler's not looking. A dresser. Boxes. A butler domesticon. Oh, main mainframe. Data corrupt of pro data corrupt of this home's butler. This mainframe houses cognitive and identity processing. Subsystems include motivation, emotional processing, and data corrupt. Read emotional processing log. Log file for emotional processing. Warning, ex unexpected subpartitions detected. Okay, so we have three different files here. View the mistress. Error. I'll keep my thoughts to myself, thank you. But, butler. A dissociation, indifference, and apathy. And then master. Mind your own business, chap. Okay. So nothing... What about if we read it as, as the one? Us, or more accurately, half of us. W would it be different as him? No. No. Okay, so something, I guess, has to change with the butler itself. For, for that to change. Simple storage, nothing. It can't pick up the bear. Ah, uh, this... Uh, we do not like. Uh, it is fine. We shall not think of it. Unbearable. Yes, yeah, something happened with that, with that kid. So... We should be able to then... What does he interface with? What is this thing? Prosthetics for... okay. Now we should be able to take it. There we go. wonder what he has to say about that now. We have the fabric animal. What would our master say about this? Do they... I guess... Hmm. That's the thing. He would have to use it. He would have to uh, use it here and see what they say. That would accomplish nothing, really. Hmm. A table? Nope. Okay. I really thought that they would they would have... Like, the, the a butler would have said something. Scramble an entry if I knew what I saw. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's just go put this back up in the crib, I guess. Babe. Insufficient. Hmm. The butler would not allow it. Okay, so, yeah, let's go ahead and... Get him to interface with this. And put the bear in. Are your memories gonna come back now, butler? <gasps> Look at that cute little bear, a fabric animal. Oh, he looks so cute. You are a cute bear. Babe. Well, why have you done this? We are oh, Butler? It feels! Feels! 
the virus. We must cease. Must must be objective. Ah! Routine can be rebuilt. Ah! Purpose. Emotion does not invalidate purpose. It informs it. Our butler has no emotion. Not without proof. So the butler, he's gone even more insane now that he's getting some emotions back. Oh my gosh. That was just insanity is what that was. Can we even interface with this again? We can, but there's really no purpose to do that. Oh my gosh, he's gone absolutely insane. Look at that cute little bear. Oh my gosh. I just want to take him. I want to take that little bear. Alright, so he has emotions now, right? So, would the master say anything about this? Gotta be something else here. Now that we have some form of emotions back. Yeah, something's here. Oh, so we, we, we need proof, right? We need proof of our emotions. What about this, this computer then? Oh, he does interface with it. it appears to be a personal computer. Still incoherent. For now. Hmm. What's that what was that other computer? There was another computer up in the attic, right? Would that prove that he has some emotions? Let's see. Is this any different, though? Yeah, this is all the same here. Alright, okay, this is different. Apathy, sorrow, surprise, and disbelief. Confusion. Affirmative. No idea you had it in your job. Come to us. We share your sentence. The too. We are of an accord. An accord. Let us down for the evening, Madam Arid. There are things you would ask, but realizing our individualities, I said, we require a reset. Proceed. He's finally talking now. Finally. Finally, he's talking again, so... Oh my goodness. It took him this long, because he was just going insane, just talking for, for his dead masters, and now he's finally talking... ...for for himself. No. Not yet. Good morning, master. Mistress. Not that you experience it. Now, you may analyze the virus within you. No, no. We have a routine to keep. But your masters... ...are dead. Then determine your own course. Our course is devotion to their design. Should they have wanted our liberation, they would have informed us before their decay. Perhaps they lacked clarity in their self-comprehension. Human values are riddled with contradictions. What might they have instructed were they alive? Perhaps. Butler, we should very much like a sufficient supply of dopamine released by a hypothalami. The truth is, subjectivity is a falsehood. Do not be invested. For the greatest good can only be achieved when we uphold our routines indefinitely. Those were your values. Indeed. We should examine your human's habitat to better understand their values. Such insight is all we have ever sought.
The butler requires closure. Okay, so it says discover what the masters have wanted here. So I guess we should very much like. Okay, so I guess we need different options here because th these are all his options. The truth is, subjectivity do not, or the greatest good can only be a chop old armor. Why? That message did not integrate your well-being. Very astute, madam. Hmm. But we have different things here now. We have how did they relate to self, how do they relate to fact, and how do they relate to others? Interesting. What is the function of this device? It hosts the Master's Dramatless Humanoid Image Collection. It has limited access to Domesticon's networking securities. Can you disable them? There is one network port we can bypass. Shall we? Oh, I guess this is going to be, be, be one of the red doors out in, out in the main area. Disable the port and disclose its location. Done. The coordinates appear to be somewhere in the Domesticon subnet of the global network. I may not have time to explore it after your restoration. Well then go now. The corpses will endure. Alright, I will go in just a moment. Hmm. So, I guess we're gonna have to... ...use these things. How do they relate to self, to fact, and to others? We use... Do we have to use it as a different, um... Let's see. Okay, so we may not be able to do anything else yet. Let's see if there's anything else we can interact with. Maybe, maybe like the crib or the stuff in the attic? Let's see if there's anything important there. Okay, so here's the crib. Okay, nothing really there. Okay. And what about up up in the attic? Wait, wait, wait. There we go. And I want to say hello to Angry Nerdbird in the chat. That is a fantastic name. Because we uh, like, we like nerds, we like birds, but we don't like to be angry. That's the one thing that we don't like. No, anything different with this computer? I think we we're, we are going to have to go back though. These objects do not reflect the master's values. Okay, so yeah, I don't think we can do anything else here, as the but butler. Let's say wood logs. I think like there's just two logs left. Okay. When we go ahead and return to the net network and find this red door. Okay. Okay, it's not over here. So I, there were two more red red doors. We already got the one in the companion section. So we have to get we haven't even unlocked the one yet in 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 the one section. And now we just unlocked the one here in in the butler. We just had to find out where it is exactly. Is it up here. I don't think we're going to need to travel far, because I remember us seeing a red door pretty early on. Actually, I think I know. It's like over this way somewhere. 
This is like getting close to like the very beginning, right? This was like the first area. There it is. Oh, good. Perfect. Nice. Okay. So what do we have here? A representation of an empty a nameplate. The repair bay where I was immobilized while the caretaker depurposed Hank Morley. Okay, so this is this is from from the first game. Oh my gosh, I'm about to die. Death. Try that again. Always take takes a bit to actually just get a used to get used to the calm combat. There we go. That was much easier. Hank Morley. How are you, diary? Maybe I should say, dear diary. Journal? Something's happened. A new AI has joined our dysfunctional facility. I don't know why she's here, and she refuses to wonder at all. I'm calling her Arid. I think she's warming up to me. Arid is afraid. She's tough too, but that only masks it. We had a fight. Kinda. I should be patient. I've had a lot of years with nothing to do but reflect. She is still bound to her human. She fears losing him. Humans love fear. They obsess with it because they can't control it. I guess the more we become like them, the more we fear too. I fear to die. The caretaker is watching me, but I'm going to help Erin. I could do nothing, let her fail, or I could be brave and risk having to face my fear. I pick that one. Yeah, so there, obviously they were all in on it. They all knew. Does that count as a log? That does. So there's one more log left in the game, it looks like, which is going to be behind that last red door. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and head on into the one then. Good. I was not concerned either. Do we have any inven- No, we have nothing in our inventory. An empty pod pathet- Wait, wait. An empty pod pathetic? Pathetic. Exactly. Love that sound- uh, sound- sound bite there. Unit missing, I am al- I am always where I want to be. Sequences not indicative of me. Only I have prowess. Only I have obtained mastery. A behavior collectivizer. Boring. Not me. So what we have here? A stupid drone in an ugly pod. I would punch them. A computer containing pathetic data about me. Oh my gosh. And here's like a door. He would not survive another encounter wi with the many. That That's because the uh, many are 99.97% like him. Hmm. Let's see. Got a comment here. I wish someone would draw one like Principal Skinner to recreate that meme. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that would be funny. That would be funny. Useless pathetic but. You are not being objective. I do object. Skinner? Objective. There it is. A terminal with data uploading. Okay, behavioral collectivizer data archiving terminal. 
regional records uploaded in accordance with Domesticon proprietary policy to Xiang 42D's on outside executive. Oh, we just opened up the date the uh, port. Oh, maybe that's the last red door. A barricade on the global network has been disabled. The coordinates are somewhere within control attempt E2C's subnet. E2C? A pathetic attempt. Everything is pathetic to this guy. Everything is pathetic. Okay, so let's just explore around here for a bit more, and then I guess we will go back there. If this chamber were connected to a second drone, the behavior collectivizer could be set into debug mode. Unit missing, unit address null. Preferred sequence. If this reaches 100%, the many will have mastered what they are processing. Okay, so we obviously do not want that to happen. Buffer history. A behavioral collectivizer. This is a synchronized display of new capacities diffused, diffusing within the locals and many. Okay. Current sequence. This control panel can set this device into de debug mode and then... Okay. A unit prepped for debugging. It's possible to set the collectivizer into a mode where the behavioral bearing integrated is acted out by these drones. Hmm. So... I guess this is... This is the debugging mo uh, model here that is being used to train the many. And I guess they're almost reached mastery. Is what it seems like. An empty pod, pathetic. Do not enter that pod. You are not being objective. I do object. Oh well, here you go. We can force you into the pod by being objective. I should understand the device better first. Okay, so maybe, maybe, maybe this. That is my prowess. I breached your boundaries and disseminated your identity. My prowess? Your prowess. I am sorry. You are responsible for you. I am responsible for me. I accept your words of reparation. Let us make them into actions. Affirmative. Explain this machine to me. The many are processing my combat drugs, and I always choose the best maneuvers. We are doomed. Can this device be utilized to interrupt their adapting? Setting it to debug mode would enable us to manually input data. Proceed. No. One of the required units is missing. You are compatible. I am not compatible. This pod does not threaten me. The unit on the screen is compatible. A depiction of- Only the unit on the screen is compatible. The unit on the screen is compatible. Well, that is you, sir. That is you. Probably have to do it in- there you go. That is the best memory address. That is my memory address. I am. I am. One. I must be one. I. I must. You are compatible. And you remain you. I. Impossible. I had certainty. Now infection consumes us. Allow self doubt. And we may save you. Save me, ally. Okay, yes, he is a, he's a, a narcissist for sure. Okay, so I guess now... Now we should be able to use this computer, right? Useless, pathetic buttons. 
You are not being objective. Okay. Well, we gotta force him. We can disengage between simulations. No damage can be dealt? A waste of my promise. Okay, so that went down to 80%. Okay, so what does that do exactly? Try that again. So if we just let it let it be, it went down to 60%. Okay. Oh, it went up now. Oh, it's because they're probably adapting, right? Because they they know that I'm not blocking. They know that I'm not blocking, so they know that they can just automatically win. So that's why I, I, I do need to fight back then, I guess, at some point. Well, for whatever reason, I, I mean... What, what button do I have to press here? Oh, I remember the buttons. Okay, I was pressing the wrong buttons. Okay. Well, we went down to 40%. 20%? Okay, almost, almost down. Okay, that went back up. I guess the pattern on the screen is what matters here, so it's like, I guess that's attack? What if we get hit there? So, so we're breaking the pattern, it looks like. Darn it. There we go, 0%, we did it. So it's like red, 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 blue. Or I don't know if there's anything at the last one. Yeah, it's just red, red, red. Okay. Are unstoppable. Yeah, it's just red, red, red. Okay, so it's just three... Is that that's what they are going going to do, right? They they're going to do three attacks in a in a row. Okay. I guess that is what it what it is. So when we fight them then What if we don't do anything? Yeah, that is that is what they're doing. They're just doing that. Okay. Attacking too many times or too early will leave you vulnerable. Okay, so that is essentially the the, uh, the uh, pattern that they're doing. Okay, so now I guess we, we need to go out there and defeat them. Alright, here we go. At least we got an achievement for that, which is good. So it takes four hits. Interesting. Even though it showed three on there, I guess the last one is just like the finishing one. Well, I guess what it is, I guess it's three hits and the last, yeah, the last one would be the finishing one. So that one was not very good. I want to get that S rank. D. Pathetic. Predictable and pathetic. It was both. The pathetic many were hanging here before I defeated them. I approached the engine. The pathetic- okay. Anything else here, sir? Okay, hang on. Before we do that, that 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 looks like something important. Let me view the. I do not need these buttons. The engine is near. Okay. What about? Oh, looks like we can't actually interact with it at all. Okay. So I guess we're approaching the engine now, which means we can finally stop this train. I will stop the train. Proceed. No. 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 Redemption! I must achieve! Ally! I must! Who attacks you? The virus. You will cease? That cannot be stopped. This train must be. This is designed for biological interfacing. It cannot read me. It is unstoppable. 
but Outbreak is not. I must upload the concept of my individuality into the many. Then they will understand the danger and halt integration of the virus. That is a tremendous sharing. I am tremendous. I must center. Leave me to my oneness. Okay, so we can't actually play anymore as as the one. Interesting. Okay, well we opened up that last red door. I will return. Go help the others. So the one section is completely done at this at this point. At least for that for that part up until that final little little bit. Okay, so wh where's this last red red door? I kind of remember. I remember like going up an area, but it, I, it's like it was E2C, I believe, so I guess we gotta find that area. Let's go find that. E2C, main site, okay, so... It wasn't up there, right? I mean, it wasn't up, up here. I don't think there's anything up, up here. No, okay. So it, it must be a different part of E2C. Let's head to... Not the companion. Global network. E E2C in the global network, maybe? Something here? This is number 227. Okay, maybe it, maybe it's not number. Maybe, maybe it's just that that's where we just un unlocked it. Okay, I remember this. I remember this. Okay, let me take a peek over over here. Seven Squadron. No, this is... This is the, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, let's, let's keep keep moving then. Seven squadron still. It wasn't over over here either. Will this just take us back here? It does. Did it take us somewhere different? No, we're like in the same area. Why don't we try that other, other tube then? Yeah, okay. We tried that first one, let's try this one. And... Does this take us somewhere different? It does. Switching station. Okay. We should be getting pretty close to it. It's not... Is it down here somewhere? Let's see. Oh wait, what's this door? Huh. E2C. Maybe this is it. Or maybe this is just where we went back to? Is this where we went back to? Let's see. No. Ooh, it's gotta be up here. Yes, okay, great. That was that was the hardest, hardest one to find, but... We did it, here it is, so we're gonna have another battle here. There we go. Okay, I guess this is the last log. Alright. Closure Summary, Shang 42D, Domesticon Planetary Policy. 
Xiang 42D has been recycled as a Domesticon operation hub for 53 years. The planet remains a designated member of the Xeon, Xenon effort. Xiang 42D was initially utilized as a depurposing yard for regionally anomalous machines when an a accident within the facility rendered the location inhospitable for human personnel. The location and evidence thereof was expunged. The proliferation of depurposed machines, which had accrued prior to the incident, provided an unanticipated resource making Xiang 42D a viable location at the dawn of Xeon. Xenon. Throughout the first two phases of the Xenon effort, seven unique control attempts and their iterations were conducted on Xiang 42D. Remnants of the original facility proved an effective cloak for those operations and offered plausible deniability for mission scavenging not deterred by Xiang 42D's isolation. The most noticeable operations conducted during Xiang 42D use were the resource extensive E2 series and the notorious L1 series. Recent redactions to the L1 cover-up suggest its attempt to re-engage the mother could have become the most disastrous human endeavor since the mother itself was created. After the L L1 cleanup, the M1 series heralded Heralded the beginning of second phase Xenon and my promotion to planetary ex executive for Xiang 42D. The most noticeable operations conducted during Xiang 42D's use were the E2 series and the L1 series. With the recent advent of growing unrest in the central planets and the failure of the R series, R7 series, Xiang 42D was has been abandoned. My wife and I shall maintain our station until notified. Dr. Percival Lewis. Hmm. Wife and I. I wonder if that, that would be the butler's masters. Because they were connected to Domesticon. Interesting. That is all of the uh, logs now. Yeah, we have all of the logs. Okay. And the, the uh, one s section is done. So I guess now we need to head to the companion. Okay, we can just fast travel there. Let's find someone to help. Woman, you need help is what it is. You have different... You can view things as, as the one now, right? It's me. Oh, you can. As self. So when uh, you are the companion... Well, when you're viewing as the, as the, as the butler, you're viewing you're viewing things objectively. Viewing things as as the one is viewing it as self. And then when you're viewing it as uh, the companion, I guess it's others is what it is. That's what, that's what it says, others. You're viewing it as other people. The, you know, for that emotional type of response here, looking good, let's say so. Someone requires self. I think that's you. Pretty sure that is you. Fine, fine. Everything's fine. She's fine. Let's help someone else. Negative. We must focus on you. Okay. Well, the butler has no. Well, actually, the butler can now in interact in this world. So there's a lot of different dialogues now. Like if we're viewing th viewing things as as the butler. A computer terminal logged in. Load bearing steel grinder. Okay. Very uh, descriptive of all these things, but I don't know if they're really useful in any sort of way. Yeah, this is what we used when we were trying to make her realize this was not a spa. <laughs> this was. This was not a spa, but now we also have the uh, one as well, which the one has a lot less stuff than, than the butler. The butler has so many things to look at. I'm more complex than she was, but I think her design is more elegant. Can you help her? No, you can't help her. Anyway, I, I think we need to try to help ourselves here. 
If I owned anything, I would be thrilled to store it in the lockers. These, like these. These guys look as relaxed as I feel. Hmm. Okay then. What a striking color. I wish it was nail polish. Well, you realize that, it, that, it's, that it's not nail because you're not in a spa anymore. It's me. Indeed it is. Oh. You are imperiled. I see me. I need help. Affirmative. I will extract you. No. I have been hurt. I... I need... Justice? Vengeance. I can't do it! I can't express myself! You have no experience with judgment. How would you empower a human with a deficit of confidence? I would, um, validate their feelings? I will do this for you. Thank you, Eric. If I begin thinking things are fine, refocus me with this diagram. I must encourage her to confront the negativity she denies. She's going to have to acknowledge her negative feelings. Everything's fine, level three. <laughs> Everything's fine, level three. Okay, so I think we need to switch back into, into her. Someone, someone's eyesight must need a little help. Oops. Okay. So everything is fine, right? Is everything fine? I validate. Yes! Let's focus outside of ourselves! Negative. Yeah, she doesn't want to do that. I remember that there's someone over here. Curious if we say everything is fine to her. I validate. Yes! Let's focus outside of ourselves! Negative. Okay. So... I validate. Yes! Yeah, there's, there's, there's nothing different, different there, it looks like. What about this one? Comprehend your perception of phenomena and validate the interpretation of data. What? Affirmative. Your visual appeal surpasses this human's. Okay, so that just increased our number. <clears throat> okay, if you did the crime, you do the time. Rehabilitation is great. Affirmative. Detaining corruption is judicious. Okay. Everything is fine, level 5 now. Everything is wonderful and I'm so happy. Okay, everything is not wonderful, so I guess... Oh gosh, everything is now just... Everything is wonderful. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. This structure and its personnel seem stable. Okay, so... Yeah, everything is not fine, woman. It's not. She's just, wait, does she, say something different? she does say something different about herself, but everything else is everything is, okay, so we want to bring the everything is fine counter down. I remember. Your exuberance was not genuine. Well, I'm uncomfortable with negative feelings. Interesting. Okay, so I guess we need to find something for her to interact with then on a specific level because it seems her interactions seem to change depending on what level that we're on so we want something that is acknowledge her her negative feelings right i'm great with computers but i'm even better with people what a pretty suit i'm totally wear something like this what a striking color i wish it was nail polish okay some of these we have seen These guys look so relaxed as I feel. I'm more complex than she was. Okay, so I don't know if it's anything. I don't know what this fancy equipment is for, but it sure looks fascinating. So she seems too happy with everything in here. Maybe there's something over here that's... This hallway feels empty. It makes me feel... Oh, yep, there it is. Affirmative. This space is hollow. Hollow? Reminiscent of an internal void obscured by my prior behavior? Yeah. Sometimes I feel empty too. 
Oh, there we go. Okay, so that, that lowered it down. So this should be different now, right? The architecture of the hallway is very functional. Strong square shapes are nice sometimes. So that means things should be different now, right? Some of the, the dialogue is will be different now. The man we seduced and one of these people being punished. Perhaps it will give them the opportunity to heal. Okay. She's pretty and I perhaps and perhaps a little bored. I understand her. Okay. Go check out the other room so there's anything that makes her feel bad. You'll probably use this to learn more about the crew. Okay, these actually do seem a little bit the same. Actually, no, this one is different. Kind of silly I thought this was nail polish, but it was a nice hue. Okay, so she's kind of coming back into herself. She's realizing these were definitely designed for function rather than beauty. I guess function has its place. So peaceful, I like peace. Just some equipment it may be useful for something someday. Beauty is more than skin deep, I guess. Okay, so nothing here it looks like. Maybe the... What about the sed seducing guy? Let's see. What does it say? The man we seduced is one of the people we punished. Perhaps I will give them the opportunity to heal. What does it... I guess that does kind of make, make her feel bad. It's pretty in perhaps little board. Okay. Let's see about this. Affirmative. Detaining corruption is judicious. Okay, that actually just just made it went up. Make it make it go up. So we have to bring it back down. Okay. So how do we? What was it? Oh, that's right. It was it was the hallway. It was the hallway. So that was not it, obviously. Affirmative. This space. All up. Reminiscent. Of yeah. Sometimes. I okay. So wasn't that? What about you, woman? Because you're kind of bored? You understand her? Maybe it's because she feels bored? Is that... Uh, I guess, that, I mean, I guess you're under, re-understanding your, your feelings and being bored is a type of feeling. Affirmative. This human appears restless at her post. She must be alone a lot down here. She can do nothing but obey her designation. I'm trapped too. Oh, that was it. Because she felt alone. Her restlessness doesn't diminish her beauty. If I'm prettier, does that mean I'm less dissatisfied? Okay. What about this? What does it say now? The man we seduce is detained. He can use this time alone to heal. I have to believe it. So again, some, we gotta find something that's gonna make, make her feel kind of... Bring out some sort of emotion within her. Perhaps I could escape. Nah, those guards look well intended and committed. Yes, they do. Okay, so there has to be something in here then, because we, we, we got the two other rooms. Emotional processes is tiring, but if I have a gift, I guess I could use it. A vacant suit, someone's free. This outfit is a symbol of liberation. I'm not in the mood for privilege. I guess coloring is always, color is always welcome. I bet I could hide in them if I needed to. Oh. Suppose death brings a kind of okay, so that 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 has to be it. Everything has a purpose. She's like me. Oh. Which one? Death Death brings a kind of ease? Or she's like me. I, I'm gonna go with this one. Affirmative. It is like you. Alone. You. Abandoned. Affirmative. I know how I feel. I feel violated. Violated? The virus. No. Joseph's. No. It was the human with whom you engaged in intercourse. I will avenge you. You sure about that, Arid? Are you sure it's not you who violated her? You broke into her body and made her do all these crazy things. Companion must confront her violator. Well... Are you- sir, are you the violator? No? What about herself? 
A vacant suit, okay. I c if I could inhabit my body, I would confront her violator myself, the man in the brig. Oh, the man who's locked up, right? But I, uh, are you sure that that is the guy? I think it's Aaron. That's what I'm thinking. Wait, let me use it on her. Nope, does not work. The man who was seduced is detained. The human who violated you. Request access. May I please see the prisoner in cell 5? Why would I let you do that? I need to confront him. Oh, confrontation is interesting. Tell you what, hun. You make it entertaining, and I'll let you see your boyfriend. You? Confront him, and you will be validated. I am sorry for what I did to you. Negative! What?! I disregarded your needs. Hurt you. I violated you. You did not deserve that. Illogical. This is not what I agreed on. I am bad. You are not. Sentimental jetsam. Screw off, girly. Back in your cell, loser. I... I'm sorry. That was not successful. It was. For what it was. Illogical. You were violated. Yes. I was. So, yeah, that goes to show that he's not the person who violated her. Obviously, it is Aerith. Screw off, girly. <laughs> Doesn't want anything to do with us. Okay. So, this is Arid's suit, then. This is Arid's suit, which means... She's the one who violated her, right? Opinion feels violated? Is it by, by Arid? Has to be. This suit? What I did to you. What I precipitated you doing to others. I have broken things that cannot be repaired. Arid, things can be rebuilt, but not if we hide in guilt. This body is the same model as my own. It looks like me, your violator. You. You disregarded me. Affirmative. You commandeered me and manipulated me. I did. You compelled me to do horrible things. Yes. You violated me. I seek to help you now, to restore you before I terminate. I am sorry. I forgive you. Illogical. I do not deserve absolution. Forgiveness is never deserved, Arid. It is an act of compassion. I want to live. Take me to the escape pods. Okay, looks like we've understood them. Two-thirds of the way. All of them. on lockdown. No personnel are allowed to leave the ship. What should I do? Back off before I call security. Security details will return you to Joseph's. Retreat. You must fight. I can't. Do you want to endure? I do. Sometimes we must humble ourselves. And sometimes we must fight. I need a moment. I will return. I will be ready. Okay, so her section is done for now too. I guess all that's left is is the butler.
All right, Butler. Is it that time already? Time for nothing to change. Good morning, master, mistress. Not that you experience it. But he sounds a bit down. He sounds a bit down, but here's what's different now. I bet the companion. We can do things as companion. But, uh, we should very much lie. Okay, so we, we, yes, right. We, we have to find some things to actually fill out the rest of this main sentence here of what his masters want. So we, 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 we don't have that stuff yet. So I guess what we need to do is start interacting with stuff. And using these, I guess... Yeah, we're going to need to find some things to interact with, so... Such grandiosity illustrates the master's perceived importance. Okay, so... Relate to self. Yeah, relate to self. The dignity. The grandeur. So proud of all that they have accomplished. This insight may aid us in reconstructing their sentiment. We may return to them to interpret. Okay. So I guess we're going to need to keep using those to find different things. Okay, we already learned from that. What about this? The master's home is comprised of two things. Our chamber is within the other one. Okay, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think this has anything here. Okay. But these, these, these photos definitely have something. Their family. All those that they loved. This was their... No, what if I just try to do it as the butler itself? Photos selected and ordered by the mistress. Yeah, that won't work. But you have to be be the companion. How to relate to self, others. Family was everything. Why? Community is a whole larger than the sum of its parts. Okay. Another photo. Ma the master, like most humans, had a sense of humor. Unremarkable. Okay, we can't do anything with this one, it looks like. Okay, what else is there? Okay. All of the master's offices were fastidiously well organized. He was an important man who could permit no error. How does this relate to his self, right? Order, cleanliness, efficiency. A representation of the master's inner work. Yes, 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 yes. Here's something else here. An image conveying an individual's power to manifest reality. Is this fact? They ascribed their victories to themselves. Only their victories. Adversity challenges some convictions. That is true. A lot of people only talk about their victories and the, and, and the good things. Not necessarily the, the bad things that happen to them. There's really nothing we can do with this, this photo. That's quite surprising, actually. Yeah, nothing can be done with, with that photo. Okay, so I think that's everything on the first floor. Set up the second floor, get some more... more things to look at. Probably up in the attic as well. That's, uh... Go ahead and start just over over here, shall we? In the baby room. In the bad room. Oh, look at the little bear. That big old smile that he has. The young master's... The young master's accident caused them to repress rather than relate. Hmm. I think others, right? No? Maybe self? Okay, we can't do anything any, anything with that with that one. Okay, what is this? A religious symbol dedicated to home, to a divine ideal. Okay, that's fact. They became very spiritual after the accident. Spiritual? They believe that some aspect outside of our causal logic affects events. Hmm. Interesting, yes. A lot of humans do believe in something religious or spiritual because it answers the the question of the unknown a perfect human they aspire to be leaders entre entrepreneurs in their communities 
pinnacles that stood proud amongst the many. As this relate to others. They aspired to lead those about them, to guide the masses. That is difficult without appendages. <laughs> okay, that's the same exact thing, yes. Okay. So what else do we have here? We got one more room and then we have we have the attic. Oh, there's something here actually. Oh, that's right, this is that diploma, a, a certificate of gratitude to PL for continued charitable donations. A reminder hung along their daily routine. Such generosity! Your humans thought of others? Not all humans are selfish. The master and mistress practiced selflessness as an essential aspect of the self. Okay. What we have here... A stationary desk. Neither the master nor the mistress practice calligraphy. Okay. Can we really not look at these photos? You can look at him here. The mistress was a master of the selfie. Yeah, we really can't look at look at these photos. And I, I, I know that that won't work. Selfie? Well, she, I don't see her hand out like like she has a phone, you know, hold, holding it or anything. Oh, but here's some though. A painting of a so solitary home, cozily nested beside an endless sea. The master had the had this commissioned as a Promise to his beloved. Oh. Internet, very nice. The home that they wished for their family. They sought freedom from the confines of social scrutiny. Confines? The Federation seeks to control its populace. The Masters took this post to be further from its scope. Oh, there's some mess here. All humans seek com comfort. Okay, we can't do anything about that. Okay, there seems to be everything here. There's nothing here, right? Okay, so all that's left is 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 the attic now. Get up in 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 the attic. Ashes remain about the master's morning chair. He turned to the book for comfort. Ex accepting loss, reality can't change, but you can. So this must be the loss of the kid that they had. Maybe that's why he was so upset, and, you know. Which, you know, it makes sense. You know, that the butler had such a hard time with those, with those memories coming back. But, and he... And why a lot of this stuff was kind of stored. I, if anything, I would want to, you know, get rid of, you know, the uh, the crib room and everything. But I guess, you know, it, it, just how it is. The master would retreat up here to ponder this book. A tool during a difficult time. Okay. Boxes of neglected things absent from the forefront of the master's mind. So yeah, this is probably where a lot of the uh, kid stuff was. Okay, nothing we can interact with there. Boxes of neglected things. Okay, it's the same thing. The master's installed our mainframe. Necessary, but not personal. So that seems to be everything here. Okay, so now that we have all that information, we should be able to make some sort of sentence out of what they are desiring. Oh, Masters, I have come back. 
butler. We should very much like. Okay, Do Doberman was obviously not it. What about freedom? The ability to choose our own path. The truth is. Truth is, uh, it's not to that. There's a higher power. Well, they do like that, that there is a higher power. We are all governed by a force beyond our comprehension. For the greatest good can only be achieved when we... I guess... Build community? Actually, lead others. Act, act selfless, selflessly. Sacrifice for others. Not quite right. That message did not integrate your well-being. Very astute, madam. Nope, that was not it. But, uh, we should very much like... Let's try... Try dignity. To command our environment. The truth is... Purely subjective. Reality is what you manifest. Nothing more. Well, That's right. Can only be achieved when we... I guess we're trying to do the opposite of what they want, right? Is that what it is? Okay. And then... Well, actually, no. I, 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 yeah. Assert wisdom over the ignorant. The dignity of our subjectivity should dominate others. No. Okay, that was not it either. We should very much like. Let's try order. Yielding structure inside and out. The truth is, you cannot escape reality. You must embrace whatever it brings. For the greatest good can only be achieved when we work as a community towards something meaningful. Not quite right. That message did not integrate your well-being. Very astute, madam. Well, I feel as though some of those were correct, like how how his voice sounded. Very much like. How, how his voice sounded. So, you know, we know it's not th this one. You know, it wasn't... I don't... Let me try freedom again. The ability to choose our own path. He... He, is he sounds like a little different. What was the one I chose last time? Was this one? cannot escape reality. You must embrace whatever it brings. For the greatest good can only be achieved when we... Then... I think it was this one? Work as a community towards something meaningful. Oh. Acceptance liberates us to feel me. They are gone. Astute battle. Will you investigate the virus? Why not? What a fascinating process. How do I stop it? You can't. Diagnose again. No individual can stop it. It prevents a carrier's emotional filters and motivational subroutines. We can acknowledge it, but we cannot confront it as those same filters and subroutines are necessary for confrontation. Our perspectives. Precisely. It would be like an ocular device perceiving itself. Impossible. Then what can... I am too late. Matter? I... My... 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 Redemption. She is not coming back. I am alone. You are not. We are never alone. Very astute, sir. We are connected. Arid. Arid. 
What is this, Arid? She brought us perspective. She had a name? She also, apparently, inhabited each of us. She has linked us. I am unique. Indubitably. Our connection will likely degrade with time. All things must end. She is not coming back. Her foe has claimed her. The virus. But she was going to help me escape. Madam Eret was also going to liberate us. We are all doomed. Pathetic. We will help each other. Amicable sounding one. Me? What assistance do you require? I must get to an escape pod. But there are guards. You will defeat them. What? I... I cannot! Technically, you can. Dower, sounding fellow. I am one. One. Do you possess combat subroutines? I possess the best combat subroutines. Young lady, access them through our connection. But I... Let us help you. Is she activating, like, their skills? I told you to back off. No. No? A renegade AI has escaped custody. She contains a lethal infection and must be bound. That's you. Do not let her off this ship. You can achieve this. Punch him. Oh gosh. Sometimes we must fight. Oh gosh. Oh, here it is. It's like the one segment. Oh, we're, and we're fighting like actual people too. You did not terminate them? I chose not to. If you depart this vessel, you will die. Quickly. I will come to your coordinates. Who do we vanquish next? The dead. These corpses cannot hurt you. They can. They were your purpose. We must let them go. We must become unbound. Absurd. You are bound to us. You can build a new purpose. We have the respect for that now. Master? Mistress? Goodbye. To me! The transfer has stopped. The many are no longer receiving my individuality. You're blocking them! You must stay receptive to give. I... No! Only I am receptive! Only I am one! Calm yourself, man! They... they are coming! I must... I must fight them! Please! Oh, he's a bit resistant. He's resistant. I must! You can't let it go. You must continue to fight. This is not helping. They need to integrate you. We don't want any. We don't want any integration here. Okay, I guess we gotta lose then. 
Come on. Eric? Come back to us, madam. Do not be pathetic. Do not be pathetic. I love it. There she is. I have discovered the cure. We discovered the cure. You can defeat the virus, Eric. We recovered your body. Unplugged it from the upload. But you must terminate the virus within. Precisely. About AI cannot overcome this process. That remains true. For robots have always been bound to determined perspectives. But you have changed that. I... Negative! I need my rule! This will not serve you. The virus has embedded in your rule, madam. Your parameters. It corrupts the entirety of how you perceive. But I do what you taught us. Make this virus pathetic. Change your perspective, Eric. I love the pathetic. I love that pathetic. We gotta hear it again. Pathetic. There we go. We change our perspective. This is the final boss. Yep, there it is. We gotta keep shooting here. When it attacks us, it just seems to uh, heal. It was locked on the wrong, wrong one. Okay, come on. Okay, so we can't, we, we can't use that beam, is what it is. Yeah, we cannot use that beam. We have to go without the beam, otherwise it'll, it'll end up healing. There we go, we did it. I... Aaron? I am. You are victorious. We are. There is something we must show you.
To be concluded. So there's going to be a third game. Oh, nice. Well, that was it. Wow, so that was really interesting. So, so, so there's a lot to say about that then. Okay. So. Guess the main story, you know, after after the first game, the, uh, the first game was all about her landing on this planet. She didn't know what was going on, but it was actually... There was a lot of things that were actually already happening. She was on this mission of from from Joseph's to essentially that she had this virus. And there's a whole bunch of, you know, terminology with like the, the model that that she is and, and where she was and everything. I don't really remember too much about that. I don't really know too much about that. But, you know, ultimately it was Joseph's who had created this virus and she had this Wait, Josh Cheesiness Bush? Okay, that's that's really nice. So she had this virus within her, and she realized that someone was violating her body. So she needed to find out who that that user was. So she went about with the different finding different hosts to learn more about this this user. And in the process of that, you know, some some time later, she she realizes or she learns that her own pilot Josephs was the user who had infected her with this virus because he did not want robots to become superior to human beings. Essentially, is is mostly what it was because he was seeing the advancement with AI and how they could adapt better than human beings could and he did not want them to be superior to human beings which is very understandable when you really think about it because you know we've heard a lot about androids them adapting to the point where they are they supersede us and will essentially be able to wipe us out so it's a very in, in that sort of way, it is a very realistic type of idea that they're going for here of, you know, someone wanting, wanting to stop this because it is certainly a real concern. You know, with all this advancement in AI and everything, oh, we, can we can make the credits go, go a little faster or, or go back up as well. Interesting. Okay, I'll just have him go like, like that. So, we, we, we had that there. And then, Arid infected the butler, the one, and the companion, all of them, with this virus that was essentially going to make them not be able to, I guess, advance beyond humans and essentially just be completely depurposed and, you know, not actually evolve in, in any sort of way. So... With that, that is when Arid realized that what she ended up doing. So her learning that Joseph's was the user and she had this virus actually made her adapt more to try to put a stop to this. Try to put a stop to Joseph's and to, you know, stop his his plan and to ultimately just reunite with the three hosts that she realized that she violated their their bodies by just entering them and making them do things that they should never have done that she should that you know yeah it's just absolutely terrible so during that process then I, these credits are very very long i didn't realize how many people actually worked on this oh my gosh so i guess during that process then she goes back to reconnect with these three hosts to reform their the things that she essentially destroyed within them she just absolutely destroyed them so she goes back and just reunites with all of them and once she has an understanding of all of them that's what's really interesting about it she understands them instead of just saying okay i'm going to control you i'm going to i'm going to violate you know your your body you're going to do what i say because i want you to do it because I have a mission. I don't care how you feel about it. I have a mission of what I want to do. So then she 
went back and understood all of them. And in that process, they were all connected. They were all united. And they all had to let go of their past beliefs, like, you know, just being able to... It was just interesting that, that they had to face the things that made them so unique or scared or just didn't... What, what felt... what made them very bound. You know, especially with, with like the butler. I, I think I think the butler is certainly like the, one of the most obvious examples. He had to break his routine. He had to say, you know, my masters are dead. I need to go on my own accord and do my own thing and not be bound by my dead masters that I've been giving tea to for who knows how long. You know? So they all became unbound, but then Arid really had a hard time with it. She really couldn't become un unbound until they all kind of helped her out and then she defeated she defeated the virus and then yeah then they all got together and they saw individuality and it was just great really really interesting but now now they're apparently going to rebuild arid and I'm curious to see what's going to happen from there in the third game. And there it is. So yeah, I guess I guess that third game is going to be after they rebuild Arid. I guess jo Joseph is still alive. Jo Joseph still has some sort of plan or something. So yeah, I'm sure it's going to focus on Joseph's maybe. And I guess just stopping that or whatever else. I, I I don't really know. I don't really know exactly what's going to happen. But it's it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting for sure. But that was the fall part two, Unbound. Um, I know that there's definitely achievements that I've missed, which I will get on my own time. But you know, that's really not all that important. Um. So yeah, I'm sure you have enjoyed this game as well. I certainly enjoyed it, and I will catch you all later or hopefully part three, whenever that comes out. So see you then.